And what's nice about this is the way that it looks. I'm, I'm getting excited. Hold on. <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. You remember back in the day that I would do these reviews, anybody that's been watching me for a while, uh, been, I would do these reviews on these high-end products and it'd be very, very difficult for, you, for me to get my hands on because there wasn't really any websites that were selling things. Well, there were websites where you used to have to call with a credit card number and this is going back to 1992 when nobody was vaping and plus I was like 11, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I've been doing reviews on high-ends for a very, very long time and it, it kind of makes you feel a certain type of way when other companies recognize your expertise as to what you're doing and how good you are at it, so therefore they will send you the product or you could take the flip roll of that and say, well, you're not really good at anything, Jay. You're just a piece of shit and the reason why they send it to you is because they know that people watch you and if they get one customer from them sending you one product, then in fact, they win, which is also a, a fair argument. That may be the case, but I would like to say that I think that I'm pretty good, and I'm sure that some of you will confirm that down below, and then, of course, you'll be considered people that are hazers or followers or fans or sheep or whatever the case may be, but today, we're going to be going over the Savoy Moesto, Savoy Mesto, K-Fun Light Plus 2021. Now, I did a review on the K-Fun Light 2019, and fun fact for you, uh, when K-Fun first came out, they were fantastic. That was the whole time frame of the Squape, the original, the Typhoon, the original, nothing of China. Like, the only time you would see China come into this market in 2016 or 2014, 2015, no, 2014 and 2013 would be better years. The only time you saw them is when they would take a design like this and then, in fact, make a copy of it. And it wasn't that the copies were fantastic. It's just that, well, they were trying to make money. That's what they were doing. They didn't have their own mindset. And then I guess eventually, I don't know what company started doing. It would probably be UD, where they said, you know what, let's make our own thing where we're not copying from people. And where are they at now? Nowhere. That's kind of a back brief about devices like this. Now, devices like this are your true mouth to lung. Again, that is, that is in fact stipulating that most Chinese RTAs that label themselves as mouth to lung aren't true mouth to lungs. What do I mean by that? Well, mouth to lung back in the day was not really adjustable. And if it was, it was kind of with a screw or, I mean, I remember you had to fill up tanks through a screw. Take the RTA off, take the screw out of the bottom and fill it up because you couldn't really separate it. You'd remove the negative pressure, therefore it would leak. But mouth to lung, back in the day, was very, very tight. If you were to take the tightest mouth to lung you have and then put your finger over the hole is what mouth to lung used to be. Well, they've kind of changed something with this that I'm going to do my best to try to explain to you, either when we're down below or when we bring it back on top. This is not to be confused with the K-Fun Lite or the K-Fun Lite 2019. This is the K-Fun Lite Plus, pay attention to that word because something changes in this that I'm not quite sure anybody has done. So without further ado, flip it. All right, so what you're looking at is the K-Fun Light Plus. Sorry for that no focus situation right there. Savoy Mesto, quick reader. Let's give that a little reading. You know, that, that's cool that it comes with that. And anybody that doesn't know, basically you open up your camera, you give that a scan, and that's for my Roomba. So that's, that's not it. I don't, all right, I, that, all right, I don't know why that popped up when I scanned that. Do that one more time. There it is. So basically that just goes to their website showing you, and I can't even add that. So that is what leads you to the website to purchase the product, and then, of course, everything else on the side of it, really nothing. Back side of the box, just some of the information regards of the company. As you can see, this is totally sealed. I have not taken it out of the package. Let's just open this up and see where we're at. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to give you what you want. Savoy Mesto, there you go. All right, so as soon as you open it up, you get a little, little peripheral guide here. Quick start guide showing you how to essentially take it apart. An envelope and then the RTA, and it looks like it comes with a spare. I am very interested in this. This reminds me of the original K-Fun Lite. But inside of here, what do we got? 
Holy cow. You got a set of O-rings, a peripheral pouch with some extra post screws and some more O-rings. What is this? Let me zoom in a little bit. That's got to be an adapter. Wow, that machining is fantastic. An adapter or an extension to either use the smaller glass or the full one. I'm assuming the smaller one. Inside here, we have probably a warranty. Nope, more instructions on how to use it. Right here, you have your little Pyrex or polycarbonate jammy. with A really nice drip tip and really nice top section. Stainless steel, really nothing to go over here. It's just basic. And then this right here is the RTA. Now, keep in mind, I remember when these RTAs were 200 bucks. They've gone down in price significantly, and however, they have not gone down in quality. When I did the 2019, it was really, really well done. Some of the finishing could have been fixed up, but, you know, all in all, it is what it is. So, yeah, see, that's from my hand picking it up. We could just wipe that off, right? I hope, yep, because now I'm just smearing it, whatever it is. Okay. Serial number 0534, K-Fun Light Plus on the bottom. Very, very, very shiny. No scratches, dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots. That's why I'm turning it for you so you can see the section that's lit up and no scratches anywhere. K-Fun Light Plus and the serial number are in different colors. So maybe if you get a clone, you wouldn't see that. Drip tip on the top, 510. It's got that typical swirly mark. All K-Funs have that. I don't, I don't know if that's just from the machine marks but they're not scratches as you can tell it is a pattern but it's it's been on all their stuff what i do want to show you though that's really important is the way that the airflow works on this you do have this port on the side everybody remembers that and i do believe on the original i wish i still had it it's at the house i don't have it here i think there was a screw to adjust the airflow configuration but you see how small that port is and that there's only one of them the one right here and then that's it as you spin it so we'll just take this apart real quick and there's your deck and the way that the airflow works on this i'll show you it's very very cool and there are no post screws in there so the the four that come in that little extra bag is what you're going to want to use is one of those and then there is the inside again the machining is fantastic i don't see wow that might be one of the best machine products i've seen i don't i don't aside from on the inside there it looks like some of the machine mark of whatever they use the lathe but even, even, is it sharp? Nope. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so what we're going to use is this section. So I'm assuming we just unscrew this on the bottom here. And then we're going to screw this guy here. And then here. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Yep, like that. So uh, the fact that that comes like that, love it. Of course, you are going to notice that you're not going to be able to fill this up from the top. You're going to have to fill it from the bottom. Traditional to all K funds, as much as I may not like that, that's just the way that it is. And there's the machining of the top section as well. Again, the finishing could have been polished up a little bit better, but again, being extremely meticulous on the outside, it looks really good. It's just on the inside. Yeah. And then here's the deck. So I'm going to unscrew this and then I'm going to show you how this works. On this K Fun light version, the airflow is a little bit different. Sorry, it is a little difficult for me to get that out. But what you see there, you see how that spins? It's similar to that of the original, but I believe on the original one, when I did a review on it, it's a little piece of plastic. This, in fact, is kind of like a missile. So the way that it works, and I'm really going to try to explain this as best as I can. When they're talking about direct airflow, so your airflow is going to come in from the side over here of this guy right here. Very, very, very easy, very direct, like you would kind of use an RDA here, Royal Hunter, to explain. So airflow goes in, then it kind of hits the coil, and then it goes up through the chamber. But what happens when they're talking about more flavor, more direct, most people would think it's a gimmick. And I'm not going to lie to you. At first glance, it sounds like a, gl a, a gimmick. That's a gimmick with a lie. That's the best way that I can explain it. But the way that you have to even look at it, if you're going to go even further, is look at any other RTA that has the ports underneath. They're very open and they're not very direct. This is going to target a very small coil because of the post. You can kind of tell that side by side. And what happens is as the airflow goes in, it goes in at a point where it's like almost like a projectile coming through. Now, I don't know if that's going to change really how the flavor is, but that's something that they promote. And the more that you spin this is the more that you restrict that. So the more open this is, 
like this would be really wide open. And as you do this, you see it's kind of shrinking. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of that in the same frame as I turn it. Let me see. And then as I turn this, see how it's getting closer to the top now? Hold on. See? And then you just keep turning. What happens is you shut it off. So you still make connection, but this bottom section here, this is just your airflow. So even if this is still in here, you'll still make connection. Watch. You see, this is what's making connection, not that inside piece, that airflow. But what we're going to do for this, bring it out all the way because I want the most amount of airflow that I could get from this, which is essentially, I believe, 1.8 millimeter. Right? So that is not connected to this post, if that makes sense. This could be all the way in, and this ring is what's making connection, not this 510. That is so important to understand. But we're going to leave that. I'm assuming that's probably about all the way open. Maybe pull it out a little bit more. And then we're going to put the screws in it and put a build in it. That is the K-Fun Light Plus. Let's bring it back on top. All right, here we go. Back on the top with the K-Fun Light Plus. I don't know if they're saying the 2021 or if that's just something that I'm adding or that was on the promotional marketing stuff. I have no idea. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. First off, uh, I'm a little nervous because mouth to lung in me. Do not get along. Now, keep in mind that when I started vaping, anybody that's been vaping since 2010 or anything before that has all been mouth to lung. It's not till 2014, like with the sub tanks, where you start to see a lot of airflow. Even RDAs didn't have a lot of airflow. They were just very, very restrictive. Again, we're going back to 2014. Here we go. Uh, we're picking up at a 0 0.97, 15 watts. It's a little, well, it's not bad. 4.6 volts. Here we go. Wow, that is tight. It's not making me cough. You know, I think when I did the review, I should have put like six in this or something, or 12. When I did the review on the 2019, it took me back. You know, it was like, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little excited. It took me back because it, it made me remind myself of this is what it was like to vape. And it, I don't want to say what this company's doing is risky because this is what they've always been known to do. It'd be different if we were talking about like a Chinese company like Watofo doing only uh, mouth to lung. You don't really see that. Like you'll see that in a pod, but you don't see that in devices like RTAs. You just don't. This would have been so much better if I had more nicotine in it. And usually when you vape like this, this mouth to lung, you'd be surprised how long that little bit of juice will last because you're not really using a lot. It's very cigarette-esque. I, I I know that may turn some people off, but the, the way that you would hit a cigarette would be the same type of way that you would vape old school way. And that was how you kind of transitioned. It, it's, well, it's nowadays where you see these RTs where it's so much airflow. It's just like you're never going to, that's not how you're going to quit smoking going from smoking cigarettes, which is like sucking an orange through a straw, to essentially just inhaling through a bowling ball. Worst analogy ever. You can see it's, it's bubbling. It's wicking. It's wicking. And, and what's nice about this is the way that it looks. I, I don't want to pull other companies in, but when you... Steam tuners, right? Everybody knows who steam tuners is. The Greek company. Okay, let's backtrack that one more time. Everybody knows who steam tuners is, right? Like where they make caps for a lot of high-end RTAs, not cheap ones, but really high ones, so they look like this. Because this is appealing. Like you don't, there's your bubbles. You don't want it to be all metal. Like so many high-end tanks. Yeah, well, take example the other K-Fun that they made, the really tall one, the five squared. But... It, 
Other companies do a lot of metal around it, which some people like. I myself prefer this look over that. The drip tip is a bit tall. Uh, it's not discerning. It's just very, very long. And it just feels natural. It's a very nice, nice looking RTA. Kind of exudes excellence. And then you take things like the Imperia that are $250 that can do everything that this can do. With the exception of that's got more airflow, but... They've always stayed true to who they are, and for that, I think is fantastic. Now, I don't usually use mouth to lung, but I do do reviews on it because it is what I do. This is my field, so if I had to rate this RT on a 0 to 10, I have to compare it to the 2019 because it's the last thing that I remember that they made. That was a shitty year for me, but if I had to rate this versus that, I think that this is more visually appealing. I don't remember it coming with this top section. I would give this a 7 to a 7.5. Do not buy this if you want restrictive direct lung or direct lung. You're not going to get that. It does have an immense amount of flavor. I'm just not getting any nicotine. I'm, I'm getting excited. Hold on. It does have a lot of flavor. I'm just not getting a lot of nicotine because the nicotine that I'm using is 3. If you use this type of device, you're going to want to use like... 6 or 12, or some people 24, 36. I would not put, well, I guess you could put salt nick in this, but I don't think that they would recommend that. Plus, I don't know if a lot of Europeans really use salt nick. I may be wrong. I'm not very diverse in that field. The machining, I'd give an easy 8.5. Some of the finishing could have been better, but that's not so much the machining itself. It's just post. 7.5. An absolutely huge shout out to Die Codes USA for sending this to me. Uh, fantastic. It, I'm not going to get emotional. It's just really nice when higher end companies think of me when they come out with products. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check it out.